Hathaway finally when the bell rang, Elijah Tillery stuck his face out and Riddick Bowe, and Riddick Bowe just hit it. And you see Rock Newman getting involved in this, both of them almost falling over the ropes. Are you ready for the top 10 most controversial moments in the world of boxing? From disqualifications to accusations of cheating, these moments have sparked heated debates and divided the boxing community. What is he saying, Larry? He says no, I don't understand. He's saying no, no, he quit! I don't understand it. I think Duran quit! I don't understand it. But before we get into that countdown, let me ask you this. Have you ever witnessed a fight so controversial you couldn't help but talk about it for days on end? He turns to Butler to shake his hand, congratulate him. Putting his arm out! Boom! Right there. He was a coward and he couldn't get him during the fight and he sucker punched him right there. That's the kind of drama and excitement we're gonna relive in this video. So, sit tight, grab some popcorn, and let's dive in. Well, I've seen some strange things in boxing. That is surely one of the strangest. Number 10. On our list is the 1997 rematch between Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson. In their first fight, Holyfield shocked the world by defeating Tyson and becoming the undisputed champion. Like the overachieving warrior oh, that he is. Oh, God, God, Tyson! But in the rematch, Tyson infamously bit off a piece of Holyfield's ear. He's got bit in the ear. Oh my goodness, he's got a bloody right ear. Holyfield bit by a dirty Mike Tyson. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Resulting in his disqualification and a $3 million fine. Why, why did you do that though, Mike? I mean, was Look that the proper me. response? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I got to go home. My kids are going to be scared of me. Look at me, man. What are you going to do now in terms of your career, Mike? What are you to fight? Number nine is the 2000 fight between Antonio Tarver and Roy Jones Jr. During the fight, Tarver landed a punch that knocked Jones out cold but the referee ruled it a slip, causing confusion and controversy among fans and analysts. That was Antonio the punch Tarver, Tarver has always yeah. felt like he was. Number eight is the 2012 fight between Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley. Despite many believing Pacquiao to be the clear winner, Bradley was awarded the victory by split decision. To the winner by split decision, and new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the Desert Storm, Timothy Bradley! Leading to accusations of corruption and biased judging. Number seven is the 2002 fight between Lennox Lewis and Haseem Rahman in a shocking upset. Rahman knocked out Lewis to become the heavyweight champion. Across the ring. However, the rematch saw Lewis reclaiming his title via KO. That's a counterpunch. Boom! Boom! Will Rockman get up or have the table been turned? Is it reversed? Sparking debate on the legitimacy of the first fight's outcome. Number six, the 2017 fight between Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez. The highly anticipated fight ended in a split draw, with many feeling that Golovkin had been robbed for a victory. This is officially a draw. The controversy surrounding the decision led to a rematch, which also ended in a controversial decision. Number five is the 1980 fight between Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes. Many believe that Ali, who was 38 at the time, was past his prime and should have retired. Holmes dominated the fight, leading to Ali's 10th professional loss. And the people around the world, Larry, want to hear from you. You just beat your idol. You retain your title. No question, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Well, I did what I had to do. I want to say, first of all, Mom, I love you. And thank Reverend Jacobs for praying for me. Sparking debate about the decision to let him continue fighting. No man on this earth will whoop me this year. It's impossible. Man, you crazy. I'm so fast, I hit you for God, get the news. Number four is the 1993 fight between Riddick Bowe and Andrew Galota. The fight was halted in the seventh round after Galota was disqualified for repeatedly hitting Bo below the belt. The decision led to a riot in the audience and a black eye for the sport. Flat on his back has won the fight. 
Andrew Galotta is disqualified. Now there's a brawl going on in the ring. Somebody's trying to attack Galotta. Goodness me. We have all sorts going on about that. There was some idiot there trying to attack Galotta. Number three is the 1997 fight between Lennox Lewis and Oliver McCall. In the second round, McCall suddenly stopped fighting, refusing to engage with Lewis and resulting in his disqualification. McCall later claimed to have suffered a nervous breakdown, but the bizarre incident left fans and analysts confused. Well, I've seen some strange things in boxing. That is surely one of the strangest. With a whimper, not a bang. Number two is the 1997 fight between Jimmy Young and Muhammad Ali. Young was a huge underdog, but managed to outbox Ali for most of the fight, leading to a controversial decision in Ali's favor. Were you worried that you had lost the decision? No, I know I won the decision, but I knew it would be close. The decision led to accusations of corruption and still sparks debate among fans and analysts to this day. And number one on the list is the 2002 fight between Diego Corrales and Joel Casimir. Corrales was ahead on the scorecards, but was knocked down twice in the 10th round, leading to a disqualification and sparking accusations of poor sportsmanship. And there you have it, everybody, the top 10 most controversial moments in boxing history. But the controversy doesn't end here, as many of these moments are still being debated to this day. And that's why we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below which of these moments you found most controversial, and if there's any moment that maybe we missed. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications if you're not already with us so you never miss a video. We want to thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.